time ago, Lord Parisio and Lady Amelia were living in a castle in Italy. The minute they realized Lady Amelia was expecting a baby, Lord Parisio started dreaming of having a baby boy. There was a stigma attached to the birth of a female child at that time. The whole castle was waiting to rejoice for the birth of the baby. I am so happy, Parishio. We are going to have a baby soon. I have a feeling, Emilia. We are going to have a boy. I'm sure, Emilia, we will have a baby boy. I can't wait to see my baby. Sire Your Highness, before you see the baby, I want to tell you- Claire! I don't want to hear anything. Don't waste my time. I'm so thrilled. Your Highness, it is very important. You have a baby girl. What? Baby girl? Oh no. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let me see her. She is blind and one leg is shorter than the other. Oh no! God, why did you do this to me? My heart is broken, Parashio. This girl is so ugly looking. I don't want anybody to see this child. You are right, Amelia. We must keep her out of sight. We will give this child to someone. But Parashio, who will we trust? Do you have anybody in your mind? Yes, Parashio. I think our maid Claire will be the best. Are you sure, Amelia? Yes, I know her. She is very good. Majesty, trust me, she'll be safe. What is her name? She doesn't have a name yet. Poor child. Don't worry, my little baby. I will ask the priest to baptize you. You know what I'm going to call you. 
Margaret, which means pearl. You are a pearl, my little princess. Little Margaret was kept in a remote part of castle, out of their sight and the sight of others. All the people were told that the child was born dead. Margaret was only allowed to walk in restricted areas in the castle. When she was at the age of six, Margaret accidentally met a visitor. Ugly child spoil my life. Milia, you won't keep her here anymore. I don't know what to say to Helen. You're right, Perisho. I have an idea. Do you remember the small room near our family chapel? Yes. We will keep her in that cell. What do you think? That's a great idea, Milia. When Margaret was six, her parents heard her locked up in a tiny cell next to the family chapel near the forest. She could not get out but could attend the mass and receive the sacrament. Margaret came to know God. Parashio. Did you hear about that capuchin priest? Which capuchin priest? There's a capuchin priest in the city. Many miracles are happening there. So? Will they bring Margaret there? For what, Emilia? I have no hope for her. Let us try, Perisio. This is my last hope for her. Okay, Emilia. We will go. But Margaret was not cured. Her parents were disappointed. Parashio, I have lost all hope. We did a level best, but nothing happened. Now I decided, Emilia, I decided we will leave this girl here. I don't want to carry this burden anymore. I understand, Parashio, but... No, Emilia, I decided. But... Okay, Parashio. Maybe that's good. Let's go, Amelia. Time is getting late. Okay, Parashio. They left the child in that place and went back to their castle. dad's name? My dad's name. My dad's name is Parzio and my mom's name is Amelia. Francis, you stay with her. I will be back soon. Margaret, don't worry my dear. The innkeeper told me that they already left. Would you like to stay with us? I have no other choice. I have nobody. But I am sure that God will look after me. God will look after me.
Margaret stayed with the beggars. Margaret's story became known and people realized that she would not speak a harsh word against her parents, but always claimed to love them. Her cheerfulness based on her trust in God's love and goodness was extraordinary. Families let her live in their home, honored by her presence. One wealthy couple soon took her into the castle and she stayed in their attic at their request. A miracle happened when she was in that castle. One day there was a fire in the house where Margaret was staying. The downstairs engulfed in fire. I Later, Margaret ended up in Dominican third order, consisted of a white tunic, leather belt, and long white veil. Margaret continuously prayed and cared for the poor, sick, dying. We were waiting for you, Margaret. You are the only one who comes to visit us. You are so kind, Margaret. No one in my family even comes to see me. I know your pain, my friends, but don't lose your hope. Hope doesn't disappoint us. Don't be afraid. Just believe in God. Margaret. I did bad things in my life. Will he forgive me? Yes, he will. When you repent, he forgives your sin because God is love. God is love. God is not love. Look at Alonso. He did not do anything wrong in his life, but he is still in the prison and his son has died of starvation. Now he is always cursing God. I would like to see Alonzo. Where is he? Let us go on.
God. Why are you here? Get out from here. Blessed Margaret's soul rested in peace on 13th of April 1320, when she was 33 years of age. All people in the city attended her funeral. Little Margaret, who was rejected by the parents, became the center of attraction of the city. A crippled girl was miraculously cured at the funeral, and more than 200 miracles have been credited to her intercession since her death. If Margaret's parents had their way, they would have killed Margaret. Every child is a gift from God. Accept each child and person as they are. God can work on simple souls. Let us see some of the famous personalities who had problems in their childhood. 